It, it appeared to be. I, I think it's a mix. Is there a mix? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm not ar an arborist, but it looks like a mix. Okay. Like come winter time when you're on the highway and you're looking over, are you going to just see that two fresh trees? I, I think you'll probably see you know, Don't you think? Okay. a mix. All right. My other thing is if we get the county to go for the water tower, could part of the provision be that we have the company painted blue? So it would go with the skyline and not be so obtrusive, like a missile silo. What do you think? Yes? I think it would be environmentally positive, right? I think. I think you may have just spent their first year's uh, No, no, well, this would be the, I would be the yeah, applicant when we paint it. It's like a warm and fuzzy about a, uh, but a cost generating. Right, but I mean, yeah. aesthetically. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to tell you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah. 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 Uh, as a result of uh, Mrs. Ho Mrs. O'Hearn's letter to Ann Diana, I did go with David Church and Kate Schmidt and did meet up with the 911 center. At that point in time, the, the applicant is entirely correct that the 911 center does not want co-location on any of those towers up there. Uh, they will accept another tower uh, 200 feet away from their towers, uh, but they do not want co-location. Uh, so the, the applicant is entirely correct as to what the, what's been presented so far. Right, but, we don't, but we're hearing that technically they've been misinformed. So let's at least take a shot at talking. You know, one other point. That is such a secure area in the terrorism arena we live in today. I mean, that nobody says the sheriff's department, the security there, you couldn't buy. That may be part of the reason why we don't want well, that's simplistic. You have them check at the desk. Here's your my here's my ID. I'm from Ling. Boom. I think that may be your problem. They have to get over. Huh? Keep it on the chat. Do a concern, regardless of how you feel. All right, Mr. Chairman. May I just a couple of responses? We we. That is, unless there's anybody else in that. Yeah. I'd like to make a quick comment. Oh, okay. Camera, <laughs> <laughs> Now, now find out who are you. Joel Markowitz. Just tell the Andrew? Uh, Rick Madden in the village. Um, there is one advantage to having a separate tower, which has not been discussed, and that is granularity. If you have a disaster of man-made or natural origin, if you have a, if you have them co-located on one tower and that tower goes down, you've lost not only your emergency communication, but you've also lost your cell phone communication. If you have a second tower, you have backup uh, avenue of communication. You know, use your telephone. My my comment was that we we have looked at the, the jail tower. Um, we submitted a report from our engineer. Um, Indicating that it's uh, uh, not going to fill a significant gap in coverage. It comes, comes short, unfortunately. Um, so we did our due diligence in, in, in that regard and we submitted um, coverage maps establishing uh, the same. And then I, I would just um, uh, um, urge um, Ms. Dunley yeah, um, to take a look at, if you have a chance, you know, go stop by town hall and take a look at the visual analysis we've submitted because I think you'll find that it's, it's, it's a fairly pleasing looking thing. And some of the um, visuals, you would, uh, if, if, if it were not pointed out to you, you would be quite hard pressed to, to see. It. So I know that there are some bad times out there, but the technology has gotten better over the years. So I would just urge you to take a look. How far away is the water tower from the 911 tower? More than the water I don't know exactly how far, but I know it's more than two. However, they they fully intend to use that tower for their own radio stuff. The county has plans. The county has plans to build it. Intended on that too, also. So, yeah. So 911. Is there any way that we can get the county to send us a letter, yes or no? Because if, if it's if, if it's no, uh, and that's it, we, we better not even think about it. But if there's a maybe or something like that with a letter, we can go that. Way. 
going to be dialogue before we yeah. have a letter. It's going to be dialogue good. by people who know how to write knowledgeable on the subject. Right? Yeah. County executive wasn't, uh, wasn't opposed, and uh, our professional says, he thinks he's got a shot, and the planning commissioner says he's willing to step in and try to help. Right. Right. So, what uh, kind of we're looking into? So the, the information we were provided was that there was a meeting, and some engineer for the county, whose name we don't have and know, said that there was an interference issue if you were on it or within 200 feet of it. That's all we know. We don't know who said that. We don't know okay. who the we'll engineer. So we need some dialogue. Yeah. It's all on. Because, you know, they, that could be and, and maybe they're right. I don't think so, but maybe they're right. Because we'll need you to. Okay. All right. What's fine? Okay. Right. The other thing I was going to say was that it's if it comes to pass that you can do it on the water tower, that tower, I would say to you that over there on that hill would be the better location than. That's what you said. You looked at, and that doesn't give any coverage. On the county property? Yeah. You said you looked at that hill on the county no, property. I thought it was the power line. Oh, it's the power line. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's what I'm saying to you. Because okay. if you had to do it, it would be shorter because your topography is higher. So I would urge the board, if you had to do it, to do it on the county property. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 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 Okay, so you guys get together and talk, figure out who's going to go talk to you, what we're going to have. Um, may, may I, I understand that um, there's, a, there's a very strong um, uh, impetus to, to continue our dialogue, to have us continue our dialogue with the county. We, we would like to continue processing the application while that dialogue goes. Um, so if, if we could utilize this evening... What well, process? Well, what is the next step you look at? If the board has any additional questions about the... Uh, facility as presently configured, things of that nature. Well, um, I, I think you would, you would probably need to address the county's uh, comments about the potential for environmental impact associated with. I think we'd be looking for answers from that about that. I mean, they gave you a pretty detailed. They pretty much think it's going to impact everything, everywhere, every how. I think so. We want to put it. So I, th I think a written response back to those statements by the county and interaction with the county on that issue would be something we would want. We definitely, I, I definitely um, hear that, and I want to make uh, every every um, every effort to dignify that concern. What I, I would like, it if we could sort of formalize what the procedure is going forward, so we know, um, so that we can come back at the next meeting and see, say, we've done X, Y, and Z as you requested that we do. What's the best way from the board's perspective to move forward? Uh, I believe the best way is to address the comments from the county, address all those impacts, and, you know, and answer them. Basically tell us why they're wrong, if they are, or why they're right, and if they are right, how you're going to mitigate it. Uh, then, I believe you got to get together with what we just talked about, everybody here, and kind of kind of get together and talk it out and see how we contact David Church, definitely, because he seems to be willing to... to uh, I can't think of the word. Mediate. <laughs> mediate. There you go. To mediate this, at uh, least start these discussions. Uh, you definitely want to talk to Holly and to Mr. Comey because they've already talked to the county executive and he apparently needs to talk to technical people. Uh, I imagine you would want your technical people in on that. Uh, so. The, the application is driven by the applicant, obviously, but you have certain requirements. This is one of the requirements that you're putting on the applicant that you want to get input back on. But there, there's still, I, I believe, needs to be some close coordination with, uh, with the planning board. And, uh, I hate to put him under the bus, but Neil might be the best person on that because uh, Neil has his communication with you, he has to your consultants uh, with the applicant, and it seems like to me that he's the hub that can. That can if there's a meeting, I don't think, obviously, you don't want it just between the applicant and the county, because I think you want to have the force of your board behind it saying that if it's possible, you'd like to see it happen for a variety of reasons you've discussed. So it seems as though it might be Neil or whatever you want to assign. Uh, and then probably Big Comey, too, because they got to talk out this issue of this concern about uh, interference. You need somebody on a level that can talk about interference and what they've seen in other applications, and I think that's appropriate. Uh, jumping beyond that, the applicants asked for input. We gave you a copy of our memo to the board that had some issues in there that we wanted you to take a look at. Um, one in particular.
particular, I don't know what you've done on soils investigations in this area. I know that uh, 